But I wonder, Peter, uh, what your thoughts are still on the importance of this election. I mean, as an investor, do you need to pay close attention to see how the outcome uh, shows itself, what kind of coalition they put together, or, or, or is either party really going to be the same thing here in Germany? She'll still be the majority even if she doesn't get what she needs and I think as you as you said she's in the inevitable leader because there is no other obvious one and um, that's not to be blasé if you go to the Germany and look at the elections it's really not raising the temperature anywhere from what one can see um, it's not been uh, it's not natural to have that hostility in their elections anyway but but even by their standards this one's quite muted and I think the central assumption correctly or not is she's leading whatever coalition exists so um, you know, Germany has been in a great spot. You know, since since it took the decision post the creation of the euro to lower its unit labour cost to focus on productivity, all those good things, it has been a shining example in, within Europe. Um, mm. You know, and that is the point uh, of why where its success comes from. However, it could probably now do with doing some spending. It's got a large, big surplus, and it could do with upgrading its roads and doing some infrastructure spending, etc., etc., etc. So there are things it could be doing as well to help itself. And here. possibly some other politicians around Europe would be happy to see that, wouldn't yes. they?